don't mind me. It's about to grab me a little bit of Dunkin' Donuts. Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts, Sedini's over there. It's a good little spot to park. It's load I got yesterday. As you can see, another beautiful tarp load from the Master Tarper. Yeah, I said it. Master Tarper. What up, gang? This is a caramel macchiato. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can see the D. Since my real name is Dion, if y'all didn't know it. My real name is Dion Melvin. Drinking Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, I am I am aware that since I hit a thousand subs. Uh, YouTube YouTube started putting some commercials on my videos or some ads since I hit a thousand. I'm not sure what commercials they are because you know I don't I don't pick the commercials. They just automatically go up there. Maybe, maybe they'll show a Dunkin' Donuts commercial now. Maybe maybe I can get my own special Dunkin' Donuts drink. Maybe. You just saw the, the load I just showed you. I picked it up yesterday. It's some kind of fencing material. It's going to um, Westfield, Massachusetts to a Lowe's distribution center. Right now I got 400 miles to get there. The load don't have to be there till tomorrow at one o'clock. I'll get there today. They stopped receiving at two o'clock. So that's why I'm not even in a rush to, to, to crank up right now. So I just took a little bit of time to run my mouth a little bit real quick before I hit the road. I want to read some comments that I got on my video yesterday. The last video I dropped, when I said I was the master topper, I want to read a couple comments. As of right now, I got 42 comments. Shout out Daniel Stortz, who appreciates a little bit of comedy. He gave me a great comment yesterday. He said, the interstate's full of snowflakes and it's not even snowing. And he told me that because I said, it's nice to know that people can appreciate a little bit of humor nowadays. So let me find these two comments. Oh, oh I see one of them. Let me find the other one first. Cause that, that guy responded to the other guy. Let me find it. And Billy B asked me, what is the purpose of putting the twist in your straps before you tighten them up? Somebody else asked me that same question last week. And Billy B asked me that again. And the purpose of putting straps in your uh, putting twist in your straps is so when you have a when you have a load that's not tarped, uh, the wind doesn't catch them as much. And it kind of helps them out with staying tight. That's why you put a twist in them. Oh, here it is from Derek Henry. I like your confidence, but you, you, he should have said your, he said you, but you a long way from the best topper, not trying to knock you. It's not too bad. It will do when you stop bragging. Hey, notice something, notice it's a run on sentence. No periods, no commas or nothing. It's too bad. T O should have been T O O. It will do when you stop bragging and put your heart in it. You will see a big difference. I, I don't really care about the negative comment right there he made right there. But what I do have a problem with was when he said when I put my heart in it. If 
For all of y'all that's been watching me for a long, for a while or whatever, or just started watching, you know y'all really see me. I don't think there's any question if if my heart is into this job. That's that's not even a damn question. Hey, y'all y'all, I got plenty of heart growing in my job. Let me let me go back to the other comment from Billy Gomez. Cause obviously he went and read the comments before he commented. Well, I guess I'm not the only one who thinks you brag too much and your tarping isn't all that. Hey, I don't have an issue with these comments because I know haters are going to hate because that's what they do. Well, my question to both of y'all guys, the other guy said I'm too confident. Let me ask you something, man. When are you not supposed to be confident at what you do? Are you supposed to just always doubt yourself? Are you supposed to get up and go to work in the morning and not have confidence that, that you can do a good job? Are you not gonna have confidence? I don't have any I don't have any kids. But if I had some kids, and let's say my son was uh on the basketball team at the schoolhouse or whatever, and, you know, I'm there to support my child and whatever he's doing or and he's playing basketball and I know I know in my heart that he's not the best player on that team but even though I know he's not the best player on that team I'm not gonna tell my son that I'm not gonna say hey son you're not the best you're not the best out there <laughs> I'm gonna make my son feel like he's the best motherfucker on that team I'm not I'm not comparing myself to being anybody's son I'm not I'm not saying I'm just using that as an example. You gotta have confidence. You got you gotta have hey, I have confidence. I'm confident in what I do. I'm gonna always strive to be the best that I can be. If I feel like I'm the best talker, that's just my opinion. I don't I don't I really don't think I'm the best talker. Hey, some some guys, I mean anybody can do this shit, man. Anybody can down put a damn tarp on. Especially when you got a, a talk machine that, that puts the motherfucker up there. And all you got to do is just get it even on both sides. Anybody can do that. So when I so when I made them comments on that last video about being the best topper and who's the master, you know, I, I really was just joking around, man. You know, you, you, can't, you, you can't take everything serious. Yeah, I was just joking. I just threw that little, that little uh, last dragon... Um, comparison in there, you know, just just to joke around. Oh, man, don't don't get all butt hurt. Don't get all butt hurt, man, over somebody's YouTube video, man. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Some people look at them as entertainment. You know, some people that that are flat betters and you know, you know, maybe maybe they don't have the time or the energy to make YouTube videos or whatever. But you know, some people just like to watch these videos, you know, because they can relate to what I do. And then when I add my little twist to it, you know, it just gives somebody something to watch and have fun and enjoy it and all that. I mean, these these videos are not set in stone. Like I don't I don't expect anyone to take my videos and go to a truck driver school and play them and like, hey, this is how you do it. This is if he says do it like this. This how no, I don't do that. I, this, this is for entertainment purposes only. Now, now some people that that have never done flatbed or people that's just getting started doing flatbed, and they watch the videos, then maybe you maybe you can learn a little. You, you can learn a little something from watching it. You know, I, you know, every now and then, you know, I will show like a up close or exactly how I throw straps or. Pull them through the rub rail or something like that, man. This, like I said, man, this this stuff. Oh man, it's crazy. Oh man, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. That's an unmarked. That's an unmarked car in the um. That's a, a Toyota. Toyota 4Runner. The other cop just pulled up beside him. And the, and the white car says K9 on the side. And I and I and I see the K9 inside the the, the uh 
the Toyota 4Runner. Oh man, I never would've known, I never would've known that was an unmarked car until that regular car pulled up beside it. <clears throat> and this, this is actually a, um, a motel parking lot that I'm in right now. This is a little secret, little secret location that I that I found a while back. Uh, you got a Loves and a Pilot, probably about. I'm on I-81. I'm in Winchester right now. You got a Loves and a Pilot, probably about 25 miles back south. <clears throat> I knew, I knew that they were both were packed last night. That's why I didn't even try to go there. But I found this little spot right here a couple months back. If anybody's ever been to uh, Kingspan up here in Winchester, this is the same exit. You get off the exit. If you're going, if you if you're going northbound, you get off the exit. You bust a you bust a left, go straight down. You go to Kingspan. This little spot that I'm sitting at right now is uh, you can't miss it. It's on the right hand side. It's Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts. It's really an Exxon. It's an Exxon. It's a Sheik's gas station. This is a Quality Inn Hotel. I'm in the Quality Inn Hotel parking lot. It's uh, right now it's like three trucks out here. I got here last night, it was two other trucks, but they already left. Well, yeah, the other guy's still sitting back there. And he actually knocked on my door last night and was like, yo, man, what time are you leaving? I was like, I'm leaving around seven o'clock. Uh, Cause he, he kind of blocked me in when he parked. And I was like, uh, but I, it's actually 728 right now And like I said, I'm not in such a rush to leave Because I just looked at my load notes <clears throat> And it says it stopped receiving at 2 o'clock And since I know I'm not going to make it there at 2 o'clock I can take me a little bit of time And enjoy this caramel macchiato Shout out Dunkin Donuts Throw me some ad money in there Yeah, but back to what I was saying, man. These videos are for entertainment purposes only, man. This guy, I can't, I can't believe this guy actually said my heart is not in it. Man, don't question my heart, man. Don't do that. Don't question my heart at all. I'm gonna go back and see some other comments on that same video. Let's see, cause I got 42 comments. Only, only out of all those comments that I have, some of those comments are mine. So maybe you take it down to like 35, 34 comments. Only those two comments was, was the only things negative. <clears throat> and I really wanted to speak on that subject because maybe, maybe y'all two guys, maybe, maybe y'all don't have confidence. Maybe y'all don't have confidence in your abilities. But I have confidence. If you don't have confidence, and if you feel like you gotta doubt yourself when you're when you're out there working or performing, and that's that's at any any job, not even not, not even flatbed truck drivers, that's any job. If you're working at McDonald's, I'm pretty sure at McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, I'm pretty sure these high school kids, I'm pretty sure they have friendly competitions amongst each other. Uh, hey man, I, I can make the Big Mac better than you. I I know how to put the lettuce on it where it don't fall off. Or, or Subway. Hey man, you don't know how to roll roll up the bread when you when you finish fixing the sub. You know, that is just friendly competition. It's friendly. Three hundred feet. It's not. It's 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 not saying like this guy that works at Subway. It's not saying that he's he's the best sandwich maker, cause you know at Subway what they call him sandwich artist. It's not saying that, that this guy is the oh I I can fold this I can cause you know those you know the sub, when you go to Subway man you know that's an art folding that damn bread up with that damn sub that's that's kind of an art. <laughs> you you can't do it if you ain't never worked at Subway or you just start working at Subway you can't go there on day one and fold it better than the other person. Even at Taco Bell, you can't do it. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty sure people have friendly competitions. Uh, I, 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 could, I could fold a taco better than you. <laughs> they, they might be the best burrito roller in the whole Taco Bell. But that, that don't mean, you know, 
Taco Bell corporate office gonna gonna hey hey come to corporate. I want you to train the whole industry on how to fold tacos. <laughs> That's about like me with these tops. Hey, I, I put the tarp on, I put the bungees on, I do the best that I can. When I sit back and look at it, I'm proud of my work. I admire what I've done because at one point in time, I couldn't do the shit. So I'm gonna have confidence in myself. If I feel like I'm the best, I'm gonna tell myself I'm the best. I'm not gonna look at my tarp job and say, well man, this guy's this guy trucks look better than mine. Now now I'm now I'm feeling depressed riding down the interstate. A snowflake and it ain't even snowing. What a lot of y'all guys is fucking snowflakes. And, and I don't even mean to say it like that because a lot of y'all guys that follow me, y'all ain't snowflakes. Y'all some badass motherfuckers. But I see we got two snowflakes. <laughs> and you know what? I forgot y'all. I, I forgot y'all names. Oh, Billy Gomez. Billy Gomez. Let me get the other one. Make sure I give y'all a shout out. You know what? If I wanted to, I could block you. If I wanted to, but I ain't gonna do that. I want y'all to continue to. Cause, and, and and you know one one of, one of these two commented one time before. I just can't remember exactly which one it was. But obviously you like watching my videos. Hey, this guy, this trucker's life, he also commented and he says, not as good as you think, you're not folding my tarps, laugh out loud. Now he told me that, but I know he's joking. I know he's joking. That's that's some one, uh, one of my Melton buddies. I watch his videos as well. And uh, I know he was joking, this trucker's life. Hey, that's that's a good dude. I like watching his videos as well. If uh, You know y'all Melton drivers. Yeah, he's over there at Melton. Yeah, Billy Gomez. Well, I guess I'm not the only one who thinks you brag too much. Hey, man. First, first of all, hey, if y'all want to write some productive comments, you know, you know, we like to keep it, we like to keep it kind of, kind of neat over here on my channel. Hey, use some proper grammar if you want to write me a long comment. Derek Henry, I like your confidence. Oh, you do like my confidence. But you just said, I need to stop bragging and put my heart into it. Well, I'll tell you this, Mr. Derek. I'm going to continue to be confident in what I do. I'm going to continue to feel like I'm doing my job to the best of my abilities. I'm going to continue to strive to do better. I'm going to always try to do my next top job better than my last top job. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, ne I'm, ne I'm never going to get complacent. I'm never gonna say, oh, I'm a, I'm the best topper. I'm I'm a I'm a skip out on a on a couple bungees. No, I'm not gonna do that. Every every time I do a job, I'm gonna continue to try to do it better than I did the last one. Like this top job I got right here right now. Uh, it's really about the same as the last one. It's just a taller load, so I didn't have as much to fold under. But yeah. I did the same thing. I put all the bungees in all the places that need to be put. I didn't half step it. Pretty solid tarp job. Then it rained yesterday while I was tarping the damn load. So I got drenched. <laughs> oh, another thing I wanted to say. You know how I was talking junk by that TMC driver the other day? I wasn't really talking junk about him. I was just saying how he was in front of me. Yesterday, <clears throat> I was on uh, put my I was putting the bungees on my tarp. You know how you go down one side and hang all the bungees up? And then you go you go back and hook them all up. So I was uh I that's what I did yesterday. It started raining, like I said. While I was hooking them, I already had them hanging up. There's a TMC driver parked beside me. So while I was while I was hooking them, I was towards the rear of the trailer, but I had them lined up all the way to the front. While I was hooking them up, the TMC guy. Walking back to his truck, he's already finished um, with his paperwork. He's walking back to his truck. Guess what he did? Without even saying nothing, went to the front of my trailer, started hooking my bungees. TMC driver. I said, I said, I said, I said, thanks, man. He was like, no problem, man. He was like, yeah, it's about to rain. We got to get up out of here. I was like, no problem, bro. No problem. Hey, that was a good deal right there. So you know. It don't matter what company you work for, man. We all flatbed. We all flatbed. 
you know, and, you know, my last video, I, I really didn't talk junk about that guy. I just was just telling y'all how he was in front of me or whatever, and I was going to help him. But when I went to go help him, he was like, all he had to do was pin it up, and he was going to pull out, so it wasn't no big deal. But yesterday, before I picked this load up, I dropped another load off, the lumber load. And guess what? I had a 10 o'clock appointment. When I got there, they told me to pull up in this area. They told me, they said, pull over here. And so I pulled over here, and they was like, go ahead and untarp. So while I was taking my tarps off, uh, I, I saw two more trucks pull up. And like, they didn't tell those guys to move over there where I was at, because I was like over there by myself. Like, they pulled up and actually got in line. So I'm like, well, damn, they told me to pull over here, but I got a 10 o'clock appointment. So when the guy came and got my paperwork, he was like, uh, yeah, you got an appointment. He was like, these other guys are going to back up and let you let you back in front of them when, uh, whenever you get the tarps off. So I was like, all right. And then I heard the guy go tell the other guy. He was driving an Avery Express truck. Uh, and I don't know if any of y'all guys work for Avery, but I was talking to that guy yesterday, and I noticed he had a uniform on. I said, man, y'all got to wear uniforms? He was like, yeah, we got to wear uniforms. I was like, man, that sucks. Like with the shirt tucked in and everything, so uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know too much about Avery, but I, I did want to look them up, you know, just to check them out, check out their benefits and all that. Not saying I'm a jump ship because I'm good right here at PNS, but I just wanted to check them out. But uh, yeah. So so this guy, he had to wait. He had to wait for me. So what he did was. It was raining again. It rained all day yesterday. It rained all day. So while I was, when I pulled my tops off, uh, I seen him over there. Well, well, I started folding the first one. And while I was folding that one, I seen him get out of his truck. And um, he came over there and helped me fold my tops up. So then when, uh, once I got, once I got my stuff folded up and, and I had to back up and then pull back up, while I was, uh, well, I was, I was, they were unloading me, and I was just, you know, uh, tightening up my straps to the rub rail, you know, where I can ride. I saw him pulling, I, I saw him taking his tarps off because he had to get behind me because I had an appointment. So, um, guess what I did? Went and helped him fold his tarps. And I was finished getting unloaded. I could have, I could have hopped in the driver's seat and hauled ass, but guess what? We don't do that. Hey, I had to pay it forward. He paid it. He he paid it forward to me. I paid it back. When I got to that next next spot and picked this load up, that TMC guy he paid it forward. So the next chance I get to pay it forward, I'm gonna pay it forward as well. But but somebody had the nerve to tell me that my heart my heart ain't in it. Come on, man. I love my job. I love my job. I love helping people. I love talking shit. I love being confident in myself. I love doing a lot of shit. I never one thing about me, I, I never have a negative attitude. When you got a negative vibe, you know you, those negative vibes rub off on other people. I don't go on people YouTube videos with negative vibes. If I feel like I got something negative to say, I keep it to myself. You learn that in elementary school. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Keep it to yourself. No, no, no need in walking around with negative energy, man. Negative energy rubs off on other people. You got a negative attitude. You pissed off at your job. You gonna go home, take it out on your wife. Your wife say something to you. Ah, oh, fuck you, wife. You know, but your wife been sitting home all week while you been out on the road working. You're not gonna go home with a negative attitude. Cause hey, keep that negative attitude. You have a negative attitude. You get home, talk shit to your wife. You go back out on the road next week, guess what your wife doing? I don't know what she doing. But I, but I, but I know what she could be doing because she pissed off at your ass because you got a negative attitude. Hey, keep that in mind, drivers. Keep that in mind. For anybody want to have a negative attitude. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Hey, shout out all my loyal subscribers, man. Shout out all my loyal subscribers. Shout out the new subscribers. Shout out to the subscribers that low-key hate on my videos and throw me dislikes or whatever. I don't give a damn. Like I said, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you like it, you if you like it, you don't. Like it, love it, hate it. At the end of the day, 
I'm still gonna be positive. I'm still keeping my confidence. I'm still 100% hard, 100% hard. And right there, that, hey, it's beating. All right, gang. 24 minutes of me running my damn mouth. I'm gone. Flatbed game.